This video was brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Get top quality razors delivered to your door starting at just $1 a month. Link below in the description. Skip it up and that up. So yesterday, President Obama released a video or statement, I should say, where he wants to see net neutrality put in place by the FCC. True net neutrality, where they reclassify the Internet under Title II of the law known as the Telecommunications Act. This is what he had to say. Enjoy the video. Hi, everybody. Ever since the Internet was created, it's been organized around basic principles of openness, fairness, and freedom. There are no gatekeepers deciding which sites you get to access. There are no toll roads on the information superhighway. This set of principles, the idea of net neutrality, has unleashed the power of the internet and given innovators the chance to thrive. Abandoning these principles would threaten to end the internet as we know it. That's why I'm laying out a plan to keep the internet free and open. And that's why I'm urging the Federal Communications Commission to do everything they can to protect net neutrality for everyone. They should make it clear that whether you use a computer, phone, or tablet, internet providers have a legal obligation not to block or limit your access to a website. Cable companies can't decide which online stores you can shop at or which streaming services you can use, and they can't let any company pay for priority over its competitors. To put these protections in place, I'm asking the FCC to reclassify internet service under Title II of a law known as the Telecommunications Act. In plain English, I'm asking them to recognize that for most Americans, the Internet has become an essential part of everyday communication and everyday life. The FCC is an independent agency, and ultimately this decision is theirs alone. But the public has already commented nearly four million times asking the FCC to make sure that consumers, not the cable company, gets to decide which sites they use. Americans are making their voices heard and standing up for the principles that make the Internet a powerful force for change. As long as I'm president, that's what I'll be fighting for, too. All right. I got a lot of conflicted feelings on this video. Here's why. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, Rich, he's just doing this to save face. He probably doesn't give a crap about net neutrality. He's just doing this to make himself look good. OK, maybe. But if that was really what his intentions were and he didn't give a crap about net neutrality, he didn't have to make a statement about it. He could have just not said anything, and if the FCC actually kills net neutrality or passes this bullshit hybrid net neutrality bill or, or law they're trying to pass, he could have been like, oh, I was, I was for net neutrality. I was for it. I have no control over them. I guess, oh, it sucks they didn't actually pass true net neutrality. Sad day. But he did make a statement. So... I'm sure he has some noble intentions, but let's also be real here. He appointed Tom Wheeler as the chairman of the FCC, knowing he was a lobbyist for the cable industry before he became chairman of the FCC. He is the man who appointed Tom Wheeler to be the chairman. So obviously he knows what the deal with the guy is. He knows he was in the pocket of all the big cable companies. I mean, come on, we're not that naive. Let's be real here. But here's also what I think is what's going on. I have a feeling there's a lot of lobbying coming from industries or corporations that want net neutrality, that they would be losing shit tons of money if net neutrality is killed, i.e. Google, i.e. Netflix. They really want net neutrality put in place because they would have to pay all the cable companies out of the ass to make sure they have the right enough speed and enough bandwidth so people want to keep going to their websites. Now, you may be saying, Rich, well, if they, net neutrality was killed, it would be good for them because it would kill competition. But I have a feeling there was a bunch of suits that sat down and said, what would benefit us more financially? Having competition be killed or stifled severely? or not having to pay these payolas to all these big cable companies, these legal bribes that would be able to be done if net neutrality is killed. And they probably said we would have to pay out the ass if net neutrality is killed. So we are for net neutrality. And I promise you a lot of these industries right now are in Washington 
lining a lot of people's pockets to try to keep net neutrality in place and reclassify the internet under title two of the telecommunications act. So they don't have to pay shit tons of money to all these different cable companies. And that's why I think president Obama made this statement because there's a lot of money being pumped into Washington right now by a lot of special interest groups that want to see net neutrality stay alive. So if you think it was the people talking that made president Obama make that statement, it. No, it was the money that more than likely made him talk. That's the only thing that makes things happen in Washington is the almighty dollar, and it's pretty damn sad. All right, folks, this is Rich of Review Tech USA. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good one.